It is 7.42. You'll make the most of it. Yes, tonight's the night. It is the eagerly anticipated final of I'm a Celebrity. One person alone will emerge as king or, of course, queen of the jungle. Sadly, one person it won't be is last night's evictee, Keris Matthews, but she's still a winner with us. Look at her there, still smiling this morning. Good to see you this morning, Keris. You were beaming as you crossed that bridge last night, and it looks like you haven't stopped smiling since. Oh, I think it was the right day for me to go out yesterday. I was ready to see my children, ready to get ready for the party, which we're going to have tomorrow. It's the wrap party. And then fly home to the UK and see all my friends and family. And thanks to everyone who voted for me so I could have stayed in this long. It was absolutely brilliant. Well, you did brilliantly, and you stayed in pretty much all the way. Um, it, it, we did wonder, though, obviously, back here, I don't know how much you're aware of it, but there was an awful lot of fuss over you and Mark Bannerman. Now, were are you surprised that he wasn't there to greet you? I was a little surprised because, you know, I had a letter saying that he might come and greet me. But actually, I think it's probably a very good idea. Um, things in the jungle are so intense. Your emotions are really raw. And I really now want to just relax, see to my kids who are absolutely amazing and gorgeous, and get home safely and take things real slow. Ah, now, take things real slow, but did you have a soft spot for him? Because it looked to us as though you did, you see. Well, he's a very sweet oh. guy. <laughs> She's saying very, very little. Would you like to see him again? Don't worry, we haven't got him waiting um, in the wings. We're not going to surprise you. <laughs> Some shocking <laughs> way. <laughs> Would you like to? Yeah, Definitely, yeah, but right right now, I mean, it's just here, it's still my first day out of the jungle, so I'm just still in this kind of whirlwind, and I'm just eating chocolates and tasting Doritos and, you know, all the foods that I haven't tasted and looking at full-length mirrors and having hot baths and just, God, I'm just surrounded by crayons and paper with my kids. It's still really hectic. Oh, I bet it's lovely, actually. Gosh, to have some chocolate and a bit of luxury all along. But look, let me just ask you one, a little bit more about Mark, only because there was such a lot of fuss made about the fact that he had a girlfriend here. Since then, he's moved out of their home. All of that, girlfriend of two years. Now, a lot of people were saying, oh, she's a relationship wreck. And we at GMT, I have to say, Fiona as well would say, that's so unfair. Nothing to do with you. Did you feel any sense of that? Did he tell you that he had a girlfriend of two years? What was, what was going on with all of that for you? Well, first of all, you know, we're 11 people in a really intense situation. And, you know, in all innocence, we were, we were getting on really well as friends. It was me, Anna, Mark, and he was friendly to everybody. He was really a generous person that just, you know, wants to help everybody out. And, you know, I, when, well, the moment when our friendship was getting a little bit intense, we, we pulled back a little because we didn't want to hurt anybody. You knew that he had a girlfriend. That's sort of what made you... you pull it, as you say, slow it down a bit. Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, look, enjoy your time out of the jungle. What are you going to be doing over the next couple of days, then? I'm going to be gunning for Mr Biggins to become ah. the first queen man of the jungle. That's what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> yeah, he could be king and queen. We like that. Actually, everybody Absolutely. at home is... Absolutely, and you should see him. Oh, you should see him. He's so distinguished now. He's got a beard. He's lost about five million stone. <laughs> he's got six packs. Well, he's got a one pack anyway. And he's just like laying on the hammock, just going, oh my God, I've made it into the final three. And, you know, it's so, so exciting to see him. Because oh, he brilliant. just brought sunshine to our lives in the camp. Okay, fantastic. Are you going to sing ever again? I'd like to hear that. Is he going to sing no, again? No, you, you. I'm like, Hey, you have to shut me up. I'm always singing. If you want me to sing for you, just ask any time. All right, brilliant. <laughs> Great to talk to you this morning. Well done. Congratulations for getting so far. Well, thanks. I had the most amazing experience of my whole life. It was brilliant. Well, yeah, you look like it. Keris, thank you very much. Interestingly, our poll has turned around. It's changed, hasn't it? The They're getting more for Biggins. 44% Biggins, 52% Janice. It was 80-13 or something. Very I got it wrong, wasn't it? Okay. Entertainment today, you better get over there. I'm on my man. way right now. Okay, see you next week.